Previously on Does It Play on a Mac, Star Trek Online. Curiously, while this game moved someone to craft a way to run this game through a specific configuration of their emulation software, someone at Codeweavers was doing the exact same thing. This video shows how to run Star Trek Online through an unofficial build of crossover games. Start by going to this post in Codeweavers to obtain the unofficial build of crossover games. If you have other crossover bottles, you might want to archive them before installing this version, as it might break some of the functionality. There's a link in this post that gives instructions on how to do this. Next, set up crossover games. Choose Install Software from the Configure menu, and you'll find Star Trek Online on the list. Choose it, create a new bottle, navigate to the installer file, and let it install and patch. You might run into the same graphics crash that I talked about in part one. It can be resolved the same way. To find the user reg file, go to Manage Bottles, choose the bottle holding Star Trek Online, choose Advanced, then open C Drive in Finder. If you view this folder as columns, you'll find that the user reg file is in the same folder as the Drive C folder. Open the user reg file in text edit, find the line that says use GLSL equals disabled under the line software slash wine slash direct 3D, change disabled to enabled, then save the file. So how does it play in crossover games? Great. Again, you have to choose low graphic settings to get the best responsive gameplay. But again, it plays very well and even has some advantages, like being able to set unique screen resolutions as seen here. It's fascinating to see how a game based on a beloved franchise has inspired two different solutions to running without Windows. It will be curious to see how this resonates with Cryptic, the game's developers, and Atari, the distributor. Nevertheless, this sci-fi MMO has produced two ways Mac users can boldly game.